So guys, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to master market structure in an easy and effective way that will help you trade order blocks in an instant. Let me just show you this. <laughs> As you can see over here, the, the chart is clean and I have an indicator called fractals. It's an indicator that you can grab from anywhere actually. Trading view, see traders, Niger, MT4. Fractals are there for free. Fractals are there for free. So you can just have to activate it and turn it on. As you can see over here, I'm on a four hour time frame, right? So this is what you'd normally do, right? So, so looking at this one over here, we have what is called the market structure over here. So I will have my line over here. And what I will be waiting for is simply waiting for the market to do what? I will have another block because the market broke out here. I'll have a vert vertical line over here and then I'll have another block in this guy over here, right? So as you can see that the market did come back here, but that's not how we trade. We're going to go into a 15 minute time frame, right? So when we go on a 15 minute time frame, this is what we look at. So here's what we look at. As you can see over here, the market did what? The market break the structure after touching our order block. But here we had news events. So this one is not counted. Do you get what I'm saying? You can't trade that one. But looking over here, we have this new market structure break over here, of which this basically is our break, right? But now we had our order block here on a 15 minute time frame. Unfortunately, the market, after breaking out, the market didn't touch fully on our order block to actually keep on pushing on the upside. Do you get what I'm saying? So we're going to go into a four hour time frame. And then on that trade, we actually didn't trade because we didn't actually get a rise entry even though on a four hour time frame it came and touched our order block and it moved away but on a 15 minute time frame it didn't give us a confirmation that we really really need for us to enter a trade but going into this area over here when the market was on the downtrend why am i saying the market was on the downtrend because if you look at our fractal over here was broken, right? Our fractal over here was broken. So this means I need to have an order block here, right? By this favor, by now you can see that the order block was touched and moved away. So that's great. 15 on a four hour time frame, the order block was touched. And then I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna move into a 15 minute time frame so that I can see what basically I would have done better to make sure that I make a lot of money, right? Because that's what we all we all want money. But on a 15 minute time frame, this is what we look at, right? This is what we look at. We look at this break over here in this red candles, right? We look at the break. And as you can see, once it breaks out, we had an order block over here, right? Break out, the market came back to our order block and take us out. That's fine. That's okay. We understand the market does the job, right? But now we had another fractal over here. This means now we have a new structure, right? New structure. The market breaks out here right the market breaks out here that means now we have an order block in this area right so this means if the market comes come back into this area if the market come back into this area that means basically we are booming do you get what i'm saying that means we are booming and for sure and for real we boomed about one is to five I want this to four. However, because it opened on a gap, let me see how much was it. One is to eight, right? But because of we trade based on what we see, not what we think might happen. Do you get what I'm saying? We never knew that it was going to open with a gap there, right? So our fractal became our our support, right? So we uh, we hit our take profit there. That is one is to something. Look at this out. Check this out. Over here, we have what is called a breakout, right? Over here, we have what is called 
an order block here as you can see even in the four hour time frame we had an order block that was touched and then the market moved away so right so this is where we break out but this is where the market touches our order block right so we have to go back into the 15 minute time frame i'm trying to be as quick as possible guys so that the video won't take forever while i'm busy showing you a simple thing right showing you a simple thing that you can do at any time any day right so as you can see over here we have what we have what is called a break of structure over here right we have a break of structure we have an order block over here in the last candle over here right we have an order block and then we have what is called an entry here right the market came back into these areas and try to actually give us nice profits right so i do assume on a four hour time frame that's basically the the highest profit ever so i'll say auto and push it to the front so as you can see as as like i said as you can see over here right this is basically our high of which that was one is to ten do you get what I'm saying? One is to ten, and if you went as this high because the order block on the four hour time frame was already touched, you can you would have had one is to twenty three because it does hit take profit here, and even if you went this high, you would have had one is to thirty. Do you get what I'm saying? You would have had one is to thirty, and this is the simplest way for you to trade order blocks in a most effective way. You get what I'm saying in the most effective way. So you better make sure that you, you master this. It's easy, guys. You have just one indicator that you wait for breakout on, then go into a smaller time frame and try to basically find a way to enter your trade in a smaller time frame. And basically wait for the very same thing: a breakout and then a retest, and then you shoot all your way up, guys. Um yeah that's it basically for this video i don't want to make this video long because there's nothing else i could say that will make this video long but other than that thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next video peace i'm out